Hello and welcome to the Western Wisconsin Journal. My name is Mary Claire Potter and it's my pleasure to interview the candidates running for the City of Hudson Mayor. And today I am joined by Rich O'Connor. Welcome Rich, thanks Thank for being here today. It's great to be here. Um, I have a series of questions that I'll just go through and ask you to respond to. And So first let's just start out, tell us about yourself, your qualifications and your background for serving as Mayor of the City of Hudson. Okay, uh, well uh, my wife Cindy and I were both born and raised on the east side of St. Paul and uh, we lived there until 1999. Both of us graduated from Johnson High School. Uh, had not known each other growing up, but we shared similar experiences with the Valley. Didn't really realize that until we did meet, and uh, we've had a, a love for this Valley, and uh, we were able to, uh, to move here in 1999. I belonged to the Hudson Golf Club from probably the early 90s and uh, had a family membership there and um, a lot of what we did was centered around the valley. Uh, we boat, we've got a boat in the marina. We raised uh, our kids here, we brought our kids over in 1999. Our oldest was in fact in college at the time. Uh, so she grew up in St. Paul and, uh, but the two younger ones, we were really looking for a place to, uh, to a, a, a nice place, a nurturing environment for them, especially a good quality education and uh, that was very important to us so it was uh, it really wasn't a matter of if but when we decided to move over here and and uh, so our two younger ones Richie and uh, and Casey were both uh, products of the Hudson School System and uh, that was very important to us we look back now and say we marvel at Hudson and we constantly say that it's the best decision we could have ever made uh, and uh, the best decision we've ever made in our lives after we got married, but uh, <laughs> uh, it was a great environment to raise our kids, and they loved it here, continued to love it here, and uh, so it was important for us to have them over here. Uh, my qualifications, I'm a certified financial planner. Uh, I work with, uh, with a variety of different type of income folks. Uh, that's what I do now. Let me back up a little bit and uh, say that uh, uh, I was in the legislature for 12 years in Minnesota legislature. I represented the east side of St. Paul, the, the Phelan area. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was there, I uh, had the opportunity to work with some great people. Uh, some of the things that we did, we uh, passed. I, I was chief author of the Urban Revitalization Action Program that brought necessary money, reprioritization of funds, necessary funds to neighborhoods that were in decline. Uh, that was an important thing to happen on the east side at the time. I worked with uh, then Senator Randy Kelly, State Representative Tr Steve Trimble, and County Commissioner Warren Shaber in locating Metro State University to the east side of St. Paul, the old St. John's Hospital site. Um, after I left the legislature, I was in the, uh, I, I took over Warren Shaver's seat after he passed away and filled out his last, his last year of his term. Uh, I worked with the Eastside Neighborhood Development Corporation that brought business into the east side of St. Paul as well as some residential issues that we worked with. Um, I uh, was on the District 5 Planning Commission. Uh, I've just worked in a variety of different capacities over there on the east side. I uh, want to mention that I was at St. Pat's in St. Paul <laughs> and at St. Pat's here in, uh, in Wisconsin. When we moved over here, um, I, uh, because of the kids, we had activities with them that we got involved in. I was a baseball coach with the Boosters. Uh, I worked over at the Hockey Association. I was on the board of the Hudson Area Hockey Association. Uh, I was one of the founding members of the group that uh, started the second sheet of ice over there. And uh, I uh, have sat on the parish council at St. Pat's. Um, you may know that I chair the foundation for the Hudson Hospital. Mm -hmm. I chair the Hudson Library. I also sit on the uh, Hudson Library Foundation Board. Uh, past Rotarian, daybreak, probably have to get back involved in that now that I've moved my office over from uh, from Bayport over to Hudson. So, and that gets back to the job aspect. Uh, so I've told you the things I think that are important, community involvement, I've got the experience, I think I've got some unique qualifications mm -hmm. that I can lend to the position here. 
and um, as well as with what I do, I see people of all walks of life and uh, I, I'd like to focus in particular on those people that are retired and are on fixed incomes and I get to see and work with them, um, but I get to see the, the challenges they face and I think a lot of those uh, are challenges that the mayor can address. All right, very good. What do you think your, you know, how do, what do you feel are the mayor's most important responsibilities for the city of Hudson? Uh, well, I think, I think primarily is direction. I think the first thing is they provide direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, when people vote for mayor, I think that's why they vote for mayor. They want to know who is going to lead us in the right direction. So I think that's primary. Uh, after that, uh, the mayor prepares and presents the budget mm -hmm. to the city council. And again, I think that that emphasizes the direction. Um, the, uh, the mayor uh, has got to run professional, orderly council meetings, um, keeping in mind, of course, that everybody has a right to be heard, needs to be heard, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so giving everybody an opportunity to voice their opinion, but at the same time keeping everybody focused and on track. Uh, and lastly is, and not necessarily least, certainly not least, is that the mayor is the face of the city. Mm -hmm. And when you think about cities, when you think about just pick a city, normally what comes to mind right away is the, the mayor who's, who's leading that city. And I think the face of the city is very important, especially given that the mayor is the one then that is going to go out and, uh, and try to recruit businesses here that's going to represent the city in various forums. So I think the face of the city is very important as well. All right, very good. What do you see as the most important issues to be addressed by the Hudson City Council in the next two years? You know, the, uh, I think the issues that we have really kind of revolve around growth. Mm -hmm. primarily. Mm -hmm. Some of it is quality of life, uh, but there are challenges that we have right now uh, that, uh, that need to be dealt with. I think infrastructure is very important, and I think the City Council and the Mayor have done a great job in addressing that uh, with the five-year program that they have, mm -hmm. and that's being updated on a regular basis. So they're very cognizant of what needs to be done with infrastructure, and they've got their eye on that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an important aspect of what needs to be done. I, I, think, uh, I think growth is, uh, is a huge issue right now. We have uh, just about hit our boundaries, our limits, uh, both residentially and commercial uh, industrial. We've still got a little space over there that the, at the industrial park, and of course the dog track represents almost a third now of, uh, of property available for commercial mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. And once those things are gone, uh, developed, not gone, but once they're developed, uh, where do we go? Right. You know? um, the other thing is on the residential side, the new Hans Hagen development, if that goes through, uh, is going to represent pretty much closure to residential development here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we do? You know, we, we have to start looking at uh, perhaps expanding boundaries at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, the library, I think, is a big issue right now as well. Um, funding for the library and making sure that we maintain uh, our agreement with the other three communities, those mm -hmm. being St. Joseph, North Hudson, and uh, Town of Hudson. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they represent uh, uh, a joint venture that I think is necessary We've, and, and, and goes to the quality of life here in the Hudson area. And, uh, and I think that that's an issue that has been dealt with for, we're dealing with. It's, it's a topic that keeps coming up. Right. And uh, we've got some things that need to be resolved there yet. All right, very good. Do you see any areas where the city could reduce spending without reducing services for the residents? Uh, you know, I, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think that, uh, I think we're very lean right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when we went through the last downturn, the market cycle downturn, mm -hmm. uh, otherwise known, if you will, as the Great Recession, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, gave, it gave department heads, it gave the council and the mayor an opportunity to really take a look at budgets. And, and they really tightened their belt. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding that nobody was laid off, uh, nobody um, lost their position mm -hmm. through that time. Mm 
uh, through the tightening. But at the same time, it's my understanding also that uh, it gave departments, the council, an opportunity to, through attrition, mm -hmm. just eliminate positions as people either retired or moved on. Mm -hmm. And those are positions, for the most part, that have not come back. Mm -hmm. So no, I think we're pretty lean right now. Do I think we're too lean? Mm, no, I, I don't think so. But, okay. but that recession gave us an opportunity to really tighten our belts. Okay, good. You touched on this a bit, but what is your position on allowing or limiting more residential and commercial development in the city of Hudson? What, I think other people have used this term, but I think what's important here is controlled growth. Yes. And I believe in growth, mm -hmm. but it, it's got to be controlled. Mm -hmm. And there are some issues out there. I mentioned infrastructure. Infrastructure is a huge issue, mm -hmm. obviously, with any type of growth that we're going to have. But so um, I believe in, in expansion. I think that in order to accomplish this, we will have to annex other, other properties. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting when you look at our map that we have these little, little isolated yeah. enclaves. <laughs> Uh, surrounded by the city of Hudson but are not actually part of the city of Hudson and, and uh, some of those things I think uh, present some opportunity for uh, for annexation and development but once again uh, you know a lot of this has to do with infrastructure mm -hmm. and uh, the big issue for me would be the wastewater treatment mm -hmm. and I know that anytime we talk about development when we talk about a new school, for example, or what we're going to do with the dog track or the business park, mm -hmm. eyes are always on what are we going to do with wastewater mm -hmm. because we've got a limited facility down there mm -hmm. along the bank. And uh, although there is opportunity for expansion, I know the money is set aside for expansion, mm -hmm. we have to do this in a controlled manner. Right. And that also goes for residential. I don't want to be disparaging toward Woodbury, um, but I think that that's, Woodbury is a community that everybody can kind of look at and say, for a while there, they really had uncontrolled growth and mm -hmm. it created some serious problems for them, both with infrastructure and delivery of services. They couldn't keep up with the education needs mm -hmm. and there were a lot of things they couldn't keep up with. And when we had that huge downturn in the recession mm -hmm. and property values declined, they had to raise taxes significantly in order to continue to support those services and delivery of the things that uh, that uh, were beyond uh, controlled growth, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. So we have to be aware of that. We talked a little bit about infrastructure, but do you think is the city's plan for maintaining and improving the city's infrastructure sufficient? Why or why not? Uh, again, we go back to the five-year plan, and um, I think it is sufficient. Uh, we saw a big project last summer with Wisconsin Street. Mm -hmm. um, we've got two big uh, projects planned for this summer with the Vine Street and Tower Road. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that uh, that our departments, as well as our council, are keeping an eye on what's happening with infrastructure, any needs that we have there trying to maintain and upgrade, mm -hmm. keeping an eye on outdated areas. Right. And uh, so, no, I think that they've done a pretty good job. Okay, good. So we have covered all of the questions. Do you have any closing comments or anything else you'd like to focus on today? <laughs> no, we went, we were very efficient. <laughs> anything else you'd like to cover today? You know, um, I just, I, again, I can't reiterate, I can't say enough, and I, I tell my friends this, Anytime Cindy and I walk downtown, wherever we walk along the park, we just mm -hmm. marvel at what a great community this is. And it harkens us both back to our childhoods. And it was, uh, we both lived and grew up in a nurture, nurturing environment and the community got involved in the things that we did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I see that here too. This was just a great opportunity for our kids um, and uh, I can't thank Hudson enough for helping raise our family. And now we're coming into our next generation. We have two granddaughters and uh, our daughter and son-in-law have chosen Hudson as a place to raise their kids. And uh, which goes back again to the reason, one of the reasons why I'm running for mayor. Uh, I, I think it's important to, to be involved in, in the nurturing of the next generation as well. If I may, I'd also like to say, I'd like to brag a little bit <laughs> All right. to my friends <laughs> about the community that we moved to, and I love bringing them over here and showing them frequently. Great. Uh, we had some people over here for the, uh, for the Christmas concert at the high school, and they just absolutely adore this place as much as we do.
great. Well, thank you, Rich, so much. I appreciate you being here today and wish you all the best of luck in the primary election coming up. So thank you. Thank you again for your time. And want to remind everyone to vote uh, on primary election day is Tuesday, February 16th. And for the city of Hudson, uh, that is when the primary will be held. So thank you all for joining us today.